When I was about age five or six, right, I went over to the neighbor's house and, you know, they cooked me a big bowl of spaghetti. I don't really know why I was there. I just was, right? And I distinctly remember that family's mom taking the, like, strained spaghetti water and putting it in a mason jar kind of like this and, like, just leaving it in their fridge. What? What the dump were they doing with the spaghetti water? Freaking drinking like Powerade? I don't effing know. Anyways, guys, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm your host, Bad Intro Guy. And in this episode, we're back in the city. I don't even know why. I was speaking with one of the Brotherhood of the Steel, aka the people feeding me clues about this game because they've already played it. And my friend says just wander around the city and just listen to people and one of these information quests should lead us on a track to well getting a new hero they said it was something cool something about the founder's tale no questionnaire the author is absolute genius pride and joy this city i tell you huh so there's a book about the founders interesting it's been so hard for gray's wife what having him waiting for him to return i feel bad for her Gray's always leaving her behind to go on missions. Gray's anatomy? No, that's Gray's autonomy. What the? Is, Gr is Gray dating, you know, Monica? No effing way. Because I'm not dumb, right? Like, we, th you ha there has to be a way to get her class. Where the frick is it? Oh, look, she she's even in this menu. Bro, she's, she's right. Like, this is probably how we get her. There's also some quest-related events. Uh oh around here. I wonder what that's about. Oh my god, it's Travis Touchdown from a different dimension. Wah! Oh, hey. Perfect timing. You lot have already smashed up a few flame clocks so far, right? You know what? You look like my... my. I mean, I know I don't have a dad, but like, you could be my dad. No, 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 no. I know we have the exact same hair, son. Uh, I mean, son is in a figure of speech, but no, we're not related. But, uh... Yeah, I guess we flash some clocks, you know, we smash some clocks, what of it? Well, the thing is, the lost numbers are going to start paying out a bounty for damage dealt to Mobius. Here you go. Woohoo, a Gus bracelet. We defeated immortal beings of death and undeath, and that's all we get? Ah, oh, you showed up. Well, yeah? Are we getting more bounty? Like, come on. Yeah, 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 you're done real good. Uh, so, the fighting's only gonna get more harder from here on out. Hope you're uh, ready to help. Sure, just keep this moolah coming, buddy boy. Connor's the only one that knows the whereabouts of the queen. Yeah, we'll find him, don't sweat it. I really hope everything works out. You know, you could give us some items so we could ensure that everything works out. No, 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 that's that. You, you kids get out of here, you scamps. All right, fine. This other question mark, oh my god, there's a, there's a ladder there the whole time? Bro, what is up here? Oh my gosh. This game. I, I left here. I was like, oh yeah, I've explored the whole city. No, nah, no, nah, you did not. I really can't state it enough. The quest related event thing on your map. It just, it's perfect for me, bro. Also, whoa, this is, oh, this is the main entrance to the city. What? Now. Whoa! Whoa, 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 let's not get hasty, mate. What are you doing? Ugh. Ah, whoa! He goes splat. Uh, excuse me, people walking above. I wonder if you'd help me out a tad. What? What is going on? The dump? I see now where the mix-up came from. You must have thought I meant to end my life. <laughs> how could you? How? How? How could you not think that? What the? I only mean to do some practical falls. You see the war room waiting there below. So there was no, never any concrete risk. Mate, what? Friend learn on anything friend want. From this height, death not optional. Why would you ever want to do this? What are you thinking? To gain permission. For my true love's hand. Uh, hand? What hand? Her hand. My dear in marriage. Nothing less. A jeweled pebble. What a suitor needs. 
If he's to have his marriage recognized, so I've promised thus to bring one home. And, uh, I see. So a marriage necessitates finding this pebble. And you're risking your own life for this. Uh, our problem's really of another kind. You see, our family standings are so I just realized his name is Romeo. Gee, I wonder what type of story this is! Ah, wait. You are outsiders, are you not? My lady, love, is of a noble house, and their old-fashioned representative is not inclined to bless our wedding wish. I begged and pleaded for a hundred days, and finally the answer came back. Yeah, why not? It's honestly a little informal. So you need to find the jeweled pebble to prove your worth. But what does that have to do with flinging yourself from high places? A jeweled pebble is only found on one place, at Lavi Sandbar. In the place it sleeps, a site in yonder Erethia Sea. The sandbar, though, may prove a testing task. At far removed from city fair, it lo Can you just shut the frick up and tell us where it is? <laughs> of course. I have an access to a boat, so swimming is my only option. I estimate the swim will take ten days. So till then, I must fortify myself oh, uh, by not even being near a piece of water. What? And what more bracing action can there be than leaping from high a place, yonder, death? No pond caravan it was. Who told me a brilliant technique? They just wanted to get rid of you, bro. Holy moly. I hear that it's well-respected way to get marriage recognized in fact. Oh my god, he's actually spitting! Dude! Okay, do you remember in Xenoblade 1, the Ricky uh, talent tree, you, you, you had a jump, the, the no pawn jumped from the, tr oh my god, that's brilliant, that's a really good com, oh my god. I see, but, uh, and that is why, my friends, I tell you true, you needn't worry over this man here. My training has begun in earnest. Yes, my Juliet waits for my success. Okay, I mean, you can, you, you know, uh, this guy's a handful. No, someone stop him! Your Juliet's going to be waiting a long time if you kill yourself jumping up high things, mate. Simmer down! Um, Romer, no, his name is Romero. Is that Romeo? Yeah, it is. You said the pebble's all you need. Yes. We have our own vessel. We could take you to Lavi Sandbar. You will! By ship. The trip's much less than ten days long. I'd be so grateful. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and where might we find this Lavi Sandbar? I'll send your iris with our target lies. Beep, 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 beep. It won't be long now, till my goal is reached. Sweet Julieta, wait a little more. Crud, now I know what to do. Do we help out Gray or Romero and Julieta? <laughs> I don't know. I'm super compelled to help out both. Okay, come on. Come on. It won't take long to help him out. Ha like, come on. Where is this place? Okay, so it's a little closer to the castle. We've never been this far out, though. Oh, God. Can I even handle this quest? The average enemy is level 66. Oh, no. Oh, no. We made it to the sandbar, but everything's really freaking high level. Oh god, I ran into the cutscene! Crap! Now I'm compelled to finish it. It's up ahead. I see it! There it is! His accent changed all of a sudden. And with it, my sweet Julieta. Ugh, I'm crabble. Nah, ba. What is that? What is ba? <laughs> Romero? Ugh, uh, uh. Return the jeweled pebble to me now! Ugh! Ah! Bubbles in my brain! Wait, that would kill you instantly. Rora! Romero. Let's get this thing out of the way! That was like the less the least cool way to say let's beat this thing. Let's get it out of the way! Okay, we can't handle this thing, thank god. Alright. Also now's a decent time to uh talk about I already effed up. I like already screwed up the whole class. And that was also a good time to talk about uh, just Fifi's class in general. I uh, The name escapes me right now, sorry about that, but 
for the most part, people have been pretty uh, vocal in saying that, yeah, it's the best class in the game. It just offers so many buffs, and yeah, I believe it. Look at all them buffs. Even if they fall off, like, bro, it, I don't know. Apparently, even, like, the ability to dodge a single hit is, like, like, you know, Ghost Walker from Xeno X. I know I can't shut up about Xeno X. Apparently, that's a buff, too. Based on my times, though, I haven't done any more or any less on, like, beating unique monsters. So, yeah, I think it's, like, something that works in the late game, but you're still standing. You got bubbles in your brain, mate. We need to get you to a medic. I am a medic. Oh, yeah. I'm fine, my friend. Just taken unawares. Was looking very awares to Riku. <laughs> what? Look, we got the Jeweled Pebble back. Hmm. Oh! Now you can marry Juletta, right? My gratitude's eternal to you all. I must get back to where my darling waits and whisper in her ear the happy news. You could, you could just tell her. It's got to be a whisper. Ah, like. uh, yes, why not? I'll take the chance as well to introduce you heroes to my love. She waits for me in Michiba Canteen, a place that holds a thousand memories and even more bottles of spaghetti water. I beg of you, please come. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why would you bottle spaghetti water? I don't get it. Why would you drink water that's already been spaghettified? I... <sighs> Maybe someone will have an answer. My Julieta. Oh, Romero. Mine. I can't believe you really found the thing. I'm only sorry that I made you wait. What nonsense, dear. It's all my father's fault. Oh, who is this? Some friends who helped me out. Well, my, 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 I mean, we killed the crustal, mate. Like, it's more, we're more than, we need more than help. I hear that Garrett's here as well. Yes. Here. <laughs> I could hear you. See, father, it's exactly as I said. Romero kept his word and found the stone. Yep, uh, that's definitely a jewel pebble. Did you find this on your own? I had some help from these, uh, my worthy friends. Or Boros they are. Nor did you know. Such stout companions. Also, did you know, they're going to end the war with Mobius too. Well, you know, certainly kept your promise and brought back a jewel pebble. But don't forget... This task was set to see if you're worthy of Julieta. If other people helped you, I don't think we can see judge your worthiness. Ah, uh, yes. I see how that might be the case. And I believe I said this too. One of these conditions for marrying Julieta is to leave the lost numbers. But, 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 they're so cool. Julieta's a Doyle, one of the six houses. I'm not marrying her off to someone racing to die in the fight against Mobius. I... Uh, I won't leave my lost number friends behind. I signed up. For your Julieta's sake. I fight to save the world for her alone. My sweet Romero. I thought Uni was saying that. Like, Hold up, stay in your lane. Sorry, them's the terms. You want to marry her, then retire. Mmm... -hmm. Poop. I shouldn't have. I saw. I'm sorry. I swore in front of your father, Julieta. Oh, cruel man, to say such awful things. You never understand. I hate you. Erg. Well, well all right. I'll be leaving. Well, crud. He could just lied, and everything would have been. Uh, no, because he still would have lost. He he would not have left the lost numbers. What, so after all that, this marriage thing is not even happening? Seriously? So it seems. The dump? No! I'm not satisfied, hello? The crud? We got new folks on nah, we gotta, hold up, we gotta follow up on that one. But how do we follow the... <sighs> okay. Back from one, uh, bad marriage to another... Well, it's not a marriage yet. I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't Wait, is that even confirmed? I don't know.
Something's going on with Gray, though. And wait, yeah, we never we never looked at this one, too. I wonder if these are connected. Well, this one doesn't have a quest. Let's start. The Nopon Caravan said it was attacked by a mysterious soldier. Didn't it? A mysterious soldier? Sounds well spooky. Not with me. Whoa! <laughs> you, you... Queen's Baubles? So a mystery guy was here all along. We're browsing a fugitive. They saw me. I intend to erase the evidence. Now I think about it. When you met us the first time, you attacked us too. That's a nasty habit you got there. Obviously. Is it obvious? I'm not sure it is. I'm a shadow. Shadow of my friend. Now his daughter. I don't like being seen by others. But we're in a we're in a dining hall right now. That might be a little difficult. Um, but didn't you end up wiping out the caravan? You d did you? Did you? A little light intimidation was enough to shut him up. So I let it go. That became a nuisance. I'll erase him. <laughs> you know, I think Gray's actually a great guy after all. Dude, you really need to mellow out. At any rate, the Nopon Caravan means you no harm. So I'm sure it won't come to that. Let's hope. I'll put him in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. You got rubbled by a bunch of Nopon, eh? Wow, you must have been a real clumsy out there. <laughs> well, easy there, Ferris. Put away the weapons. We're eating. We're all friends here. He's a real short fuse to boot. Oh, boy. Must be a touchy subject. The dump? Did no pun d bully Gray as a boy? Oh, God. Guess we'll hey, find out more. Yeah, seriously, Gray, you're out of line, buddy. Gray, you came from this city, didn't you? Yeah. No need to be so standoffish, mate. You're allowed to talk, you know. You are at home. No news you bother with trivial stuff. So you have a wife, don't you? Do you want to go and see her? Fine, either way. <laughs> oh. Come on, that's no good. She wants to see you. Uh. <laughs> what? You can always drop in while you're giving your report to the lost numbers. So there you have it. He was lost numbers the whole time. I guess the eye patch was kind of a dead giveaway, but you know. Oh, yeah. He kept all that from the lost numbers quiet, didn't you? I told you. I don't talk about unimportant stuff. Cannot believe this bloke. Ugh. Some hero. Let's have it out then. Proposal. Let's go and see his wife. I'm taking your silence as a yes. Good work, team. Let's go. What the dump? Lovebirds. Hello. What is this? Does Gray have a sensitive side when he's not blowing up no pawns for existing? We shall see. Oh, honey, I'm home. I don't think I don't think he's married to Monica anymore. Uh. Looks like we're getting somewhere. We gotta start thinking about our next move. So keep contact to a minimum. Got it. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it's been a while. See you then. I wonder what that was about. You're home. Sorry I didn't go to meet you. No problem. It's only a flying visit. Oh, it is. Anyway, I see you brought your friends, so I'll get dinner. Oh, but first, let me introduce myself. I'm Rosanna. Pleased to meet you. Uh, well, we we, we kind of figured because your nameplate, but we're, uh... Oh, I know who you are. He never shuts up about you lot. Really? This guy talking to him? What? Don't flatter yourselves. That doesn't make us buddies, got it? Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go. What was with all the bluntness? Aren't you supposed to at least like this woman? <laughs> what do you say to that, Gray? Do you still like me? Uh, not this particular woman. <laughs> er, awkward. That's true. We're partners. To put it in terms you'd understand. Oh, before I forget, a work thing came up for you, Gray. What thing? Request from Monica. <gasps> I'll take you there. Monica? 
Monica and I are good friends. You don't say. This way, just follow me. Oh, we're getting close. That hero quest is right around the corner. I believe it. Woo! Not, not how I thought we'd get it, but here we go. But Gray's got him a loving wife. Crazy. I mean, no, she's not crazy. Like you know, Gray's bordering on. Are we ever gonna find out what the dump the fidget spinner was? I mean, what's there left to hide? We've met the guy's wife, you know. Like, we found his city. We still got no answers. Where are you going, Rosanna? Here is fine. <laughs> With the no pod you shot at, you douchebag! Rosanna, you come. I did. What's going on, Mr. Salmon? Do you want something from us? That's right! Drum Drum is a princess of salmon! And we are favor to ask. It's true. Oh, would it end? Please allow- Wait for- Please allow Drum Drum to explain. Right now, Drum Drum and Master Pond are working on their misrepair and getting ship ready. A very important job, ordered by Monica. Get to the point, will you? Uh, uh, okay. We have troubling lack of material in recent day. Do you want us to scrounge up some stuff? That long and short of it! So this kind of stuff your job too? I thought it was just pointing guns at stuff. Well, not just stuff, anything that moves really, including us. <sighs> so what are these materials you need? Oh, you know Hollis? The doctor? Uh, yeah, we met him in that cutscene. Who wants to know how a baby so made? I mean, fa I mean, birthed, Alfred. Uh, yeah, what about him? He has some things in stock that these two would like you to get hold of. Okay. Go to the doctors? Could you not have just gone and done that yourselves? When we out in public, there are always annoying people who say all kinds of things to us. They do, don't they? And you have the conservatives and the hardliners, so we'd like to ask you to do it. What is this, a fetch quest, mate? It's sending out suitably powerful friends to do job for you, to keep annoying loudmouths quiet. That's what it is. If Gray's on the case, people will think twice about interfering, yes? Exactly. I'll go too. There are things I'd like to talk about. Okay. Then we'll go too. It'll just be a big old picnic. <laughs> Glad to hear it. My husband can be a little tactful. So I appreciate you help him. You talk too much. Let's go. Oh, you lot. What's going on? We came to take this stuff back to Summons. Where is it? Where is it? Where oh, calm down, sir. Where is it? Ha ha wow, he doesn't beat around the bush, does he? Ah, <laughs> oh, Gray, I didn't see you there. Somehow I didn't hear you either. He came to pick up the materials you have. Rosanna too, eh? Got yourselves a real troublemaker here, folks. What kind of trouble is he making? Rosanna, you're a right firecracker. I guess I can't refuse, given the debt I owe you. Let's pack out with the bridle. Hand over the goods and we'll go. He sounds like, he sounds like he's a thief. What? Okay, fine. We'll get it delivered to you. Don't worry. Thank you, Doctor. Should we really... Be doing this? I, I, are, are, are we stealing? Like I, what? Nothing to worry about, son. I'll send it to you by route, and no other faction will be watching. Don't worry. Let's get it back. No, Gray. Wait. There's something I need to say to you. Take down. Pee 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 and get me some medicine ingredients. I'm short-staffed at the moment. It's hard to keep our ingredients stocked. I can do that. I'll get it done soon. I'd like to chat with the good doctor a while. So you be careful out there, okay? We'll go with you. It'll be easy with us on the case. So, why not? All right, deal. Shoot some pip pip pop oh, on me. the sword hill. Easy peas. How the dump do I get out of here? I... Homie, oh my, oh my god, oh my god! Yo, does that count as killing one? I don't, ah! Uh... 
Doctor, we're back, and we've released those weasels from the mortal coils of life. I mean, <clears throat> we managed to do as you asked. Is this what you needed? Perfect, thank you. You made quick work of that. I guess your old hand's at it. Yeah, we're good at, uh, pushing weasels off a cliff. Uh, and the materials. Already transported out of here. No worries about that. I see. Where's Rosanna? She's probably gone home. That would make sense. Well, shall we go see her? Yeah, let's. Oh, honey, I'm home. Again. Twice in the same day. Uh... Oh, you're home, I see. Well, I did shout it. Dinner's ready. Would you like some? C can we? <laughs> Wouldn't have authored otherwise. No need. I'll head back out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I always thought partners would be nicer to each other. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I know I'm literally an alien here, but... Oh, it's fine. This is just who he is. If you say so, sister. But take care of yourself, all bones, you hear? I know what you're like. My smile on. Don't throw your back out. What, what, what does that mean? Uh, None of your business. I'll be fine, dear. I'm an engineer, and I'm a very popular one in that. What? 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 <laughs> I always know where to come back to. Okay, then. I won't be home for a while, but... I know. You'll see. I'll take down those idiots and get the city back on stable ground. Soon enough. I know. And I'll be doing my part as well. I have no idea what's going on, but... At least they seem to be getting along. <laughs> get along, we get along fine. Gray has trouble expressing himself. But he likes you, you know. Likes me? I mean, that's the standard. <laughs> what is that laugh? <laughs> is that true, Gray? Do you like us? Come on, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. Uh, I can tolerate you when you're not being a nuisance. I promised him, my late friend. Well, that took a turn. <laughs> Look after him, will ya? Leave him with us. We'll keep him fed and <laughs> watered. <laughs> this is the best quest ever. Wait, there's something I forgot to say. What is it? You can take your eye patch and mask off when you're in the city. No one's going to be surprised to see your face at this point, are they? I'll think about it. What's under his... What? He took his mask off? What? What? We get to see Grey unmasked? See no fool. What? Boy, what you looking like? Ryan Gosling looking behind? Where is he? Where? Oh, no, no, no. Come back. No, no, Grey. Turn around. This is... I'm your... Wait, he's actually Ryan Gosling. Hello? Damn, Rosanna. Okay, no. He's shy, but like, come on. Dude's a stud. Hello? Man, I want facial hair like that. Mom, gray. Not a gray hair on him. Bruh. I'm sorry. That's a sick F. That's like, a what the dump? But yo, he's he's no, he's no Triton. I'll tell you that. Now that's a beard. No, they're both great. Okay. I mean, I don't see what that had to do with Monica, but... Not gonna lie, it was cool to actually see a different side of the guy. So apparently, it looks like Gray's back in town, he is. Dang, is he like a celebrity? He softened up a bit, perhaps thanks to hanging out with those young whippers now. I mean, I'm going to do it. Okay, so basically, um, I spent like an hour looking for how to do this, but uh, I joined the Lost Numbers and I was becoming as fine man as Guernica. In the hopes of becoming as strong as that kind of guy? The idea of this day still remains an aspiration. This, this is how you unlock uh, Monica as a permanent hero. I know. But Johnny, this is a blind playthrough. But like, come on, bro, F it. That was, that was gonna take me all day. No, Johnny, it's spoiled now. You're spoiled just so Yeah, wait, what the dump? How is this a hero quest? The frick? Why not even pick this up? Oh yeah, those kids are talking. Anyway. Guernica and Vondam. Let's talk. We've been through a lot since we 
Set on getting to the city, huh? But we all made it through in one piece. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. That's something to be thankful for. Yeah. We've seen a world that we've never known before. Experiencing it for the first time. We even got a boat. I'm a boat owner. That's crazy. I just wish I could have let Guernica know that too. If it wasn't for him. We'd have been cut down right there where we stood. By that Mobius. Well, both of them. Yeah. Yep. Maybe just ended up blindly killing each other in battle. Like every other schmuck. I'm glad I didn't come to that, though. Yeah, think about it. What the old man gave us was immense. But in the end, we won't know a flippin' thing about the guy, will we? Kinda sucks. I mean, it's pretty late in the day. I really want to know more about him. I wonder what his motive was for giving us this power. No. In fact, I think we have a duty to find out. Because like him, we stand together with the people of the city. Seems all the city folk thought he was a pretty awesome guy, huh? Especially Monica. He was a really special person for her, right? That's putting it lightly, uh... Indeed. Monica referred to him as Dad, even. It's a city custom. That's why they call the person who raised them. At least one of them. Perhaps we could ask Monica about Guernica. Find out what he really thought. After all, we're carrying his dreams now. Fighting to make them real. And there it is! Vandom's Air! Woo! Okay, did a little slower than I thought. We also, uh... Oh, there's... Oh, man, there's so many of these to do. I want to do them all, but... <sighs> uh, this comes first. Oh, Monica, there you are! No, Travis, good to see you again. How goes it? Gondor's the only one... Tra I'm not talking to you! Freak, shut up, Travis! Frick, I'm sorry if your name's Travis, by the way. You scared the crap out of you. Anyway, what's up? I know we're supposed to be on the mission to save Gondor, you know, like, find the hobbits or whatever the frick, but, like... We're just coming in to say hi, you know. We got bored out in the ocean. We don't know where to go. It's too big! It's too big! I don't, like... Monica, can we talk? What's up? Sounds ominous. Duh, it doesn't have to be. We were hoping we could ask you about someone. Guernica, in fact. About Dad? Everyone in the city speaks so highly of him, but we still don't know a whole lot about him. I think we owe him that much. All right. Where do you want to start? You were brought up by him, right? So... We thought you'd probably understand him better than anyone else. Ha! <laughs> I wish that were the case. The Guernica Van Damme that I knew was a man that I always looked up to. He was always busy keeping the city together or fighting out on the front line. Always distant. After I chose a military life, he didn't even talk to me like a parent anymore. Oh my god. You mean... You weren't on very good terms? That sucks. I got to know the man, I think. But not the father. I just thought that we'd have more time together. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <sighs> hey, boss. You're making the kids feel guilty. <sighs> sorry. Yeah, it's, all, it's, it's not good. But... I don't blame you guys for any of this. Dad. Guernica died in the line of duty, trying to accomplish his aim. But that's not all. He died fighting for what he believed in, and he saw it through. Of that much, I'm sure. For what he believed in. Well, about that, there still might be a bit of unfinished business there. Hmm? He sure was adamant about getting stuff home to people. What do you mean? Yeah, for certain. Sorry, what do you mean exactly? Yeah, clue me in. Come on. Personal effects from the deceased. Things that family and friends can remember them by. We don't leave any other mark behind that says we were here, you see? Oh, gotcha. So, like, when she left the eye patch at his grave. If there are people waiting for you, then you just want to leave something behind, whatever it may be. I was in the rear guard. I know just how dangerous that battlefield was. <laughs> Maybe it's better not to dwell on that. Hmm. 
but there are personal items that have been left behind, though, right? Huh? Maybe you'd let us do something to help out with that. Yeah, we got legs. Whole bunch of We got 12 legs. We can do it. And we got a boat. It must be really painful for the people who never got the chance for closure. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get a handle on how they see things in the city. But if there's something we can do about it, I want to try to help. I appreciate the sentiment, guys. But why go to all this trouble? When you really should be at the prison rescuing Gondor. <coughs> I mean, well, we'll get some closure from doing this too. Yeah, it's a way to make them, you know, not really make amends, but just show that, yeah, we're here to finish the job, Vandom. And more than just one. We were losing friends every day. And before we became Uroboros, some of us used to be offseers. Guernica went to all that trouble for others. And when it happened, he was thinking of everyone waiting for him in the city. So I'd like to help his voice find its way. Hmm. Much appreciated. Speaking personally, good on you. Travis, could you pull up the tactical register? Roger that. Give me a moment. There's the data. We've got a list of deceased soldiers and the likely locations where they fell. Could you check out the waypoints around El Feso Valley? That's some impressive precision. Kind of you to notice. See, that's the thing about us lost numbers. We just don't know when to quit. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> okay, guys. It's up to you now. Hey, don't sweat it. You gave us precise coordinates. That's more than... That's more than we can even ask for. When you're done, could you meet me at the Remembrance Stones? Got it. You have my word. So for this quest, we return to where the Ouroboros Stone was first activated and pretty much pick up the belongings of Guernica's crewmates. He's landed so far away. I'll get your things back to the city. To the people waiting for you. One skip travel later, we're already back. We've brought their belongings. It's crazy to think that journey took us almost an entire game, but uh, now we can do it in two seconds. So. Thanks. Means a lot. Can you lay them out here? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Now you mention it, didn't Monica put an eye patch here? Yeah, that was Guernica's. What does it mean exactly? Placing people's belongings here? Uh, how can I explain it? Um, you guys have off-seeing, right? I guess this is our version of that. Off-seeing for city folk? Hmm. You got here first. Boss, we were waiting for you. The rest of those are the family members. Ah, oh, jeez. Brother, you. <laughs> Zua. You made it back. Oh, God. Dude, what the heck? He <laughs> well. It's now hitting me. You always kept such good care of this. Now look at it. I just wish that we could have talked more. You're home now. Thanks to you, these people got a chance to say farewell to their loved ones. And I got to fulfill Dad's dying wish. Thank you. Don't, don't mention it. <laughs> well, yeah. Can't hurt, right? Phantom's dying wish, he just, I don't know, wanted somebody to look after the rest of his crew. I think that's what she's saying. If that's the case, man. Pretty noble. That's for sure.
They weren't just sacrifices. They've entrusted us all with the future. As the Founders did, looking back is not an option. So that was enough seeing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> the sound of that music. It's really something else. Yeah, I think so too. I don't think anyone here will forget this day as long as they live. Oh my gosh. I'm a, the I'm a blood. Never got to win their battles. But maybe now they can get some rest. Yeah. Finally. Speaking of. You ought to get some rest, too. You're gonna be pretty busy from now on. Uh, what? You said it, boss. Uh, oh, I thought she was talking to me. I was like, oh, no, I, I, I can't I can't do this every time. Like, we got, you know. Wait, wait just how busy are we talking here? <laughs> from now on, I'll be traveling with Noah's crew. Huh? But then who's gonna handle things in the city? <laughs> you, dummy! You'll be here, won't you, Travis? <laughs> like father, like daughter, eh? Shrug and responsibility when it's convenient. Aww. Dad spent his life on the front line, and I want to carry on that tradition. Oh yeah, that's what you meant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I understood that when I heard the Offseer's play. It has to be me. I have to carry on his legacy, fulfill his hopes. I'll fight for you now. Call on me anytime you need my help. Thank you. That's truly heartening. I hope we'll get to know each other outside of battle too. Yeah, plenty of bonding to go around. There's so much I'd like to ask you about yourself, the city. No worries. A word of warning, guys. The boss's stories are long. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she likes to talk a lot. Oh, gosh, the gab. If you've got time to rip on the boss, I might just assign you some more duties, <laughs> Travis. Oh. You're literally giving me your entire job. How can you get more? What? Well, at least I won't have to worry about the city while I'm gone. Just holler if you need me. We'll take you up on that. <laughs> Just all, all of a sudden, well, I'm going with you lot. It's like, ah, uh, can Travis really handle two people's jobs? Monica, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not questioning the leader of the city, but uh, you know what? A pretty short and sweet one. I dig it. It's so sad to think, though, that yeah, Monica didn't even. Get to really know her dad. I, I still don't know how to react to that. The bereaved witness the off scene ceremony and thank the party for everything they've done. Monica will now join you in battle as the battle the Lost game. Vanguard. And we're on the front line. Heck yeah. Yo, look at that sword. Oh my gosh. That is so effing random. What? To uni? Really? Oh, the way they took this picture is so cool. There's no monsters in that area, though. Oh, you clever devs. Defender protects allies by deploying fields. Oh. Specializes in countering enemies and deal damage while guarding. Hold on a minute. That sounds... bad. Listen, I'm no expert. So let's check it out. Like, you know, why not? I guess now we... Wow, we actually have every defender in the game. Me. Uni looks awesome with it. Look at that shield. I'm getting mad Gundam vibes. And is, do we have Ouroboros symbol on the sword itself? I wonder if Monica has that. 
Oh, it's not there. Only on unis. Okay. So what were her arts? We got Shockwave. We got Thunder Steel. Wait, what? Your talent art. Okay, a binds. That's really good, but do boost damage. Why? Ah, uh, listen. Last time I thought one of these classes was bad, it was actually amazing. So I, I think I should leave my uh, observations till later. Huh. These aren't. Mm, yet again, it seems like a class I'll really benefit from being fused with another. But interestingly enough, it's like Agnes style and not actually Keves. Crazy. Be that as it may, though, that is going to conclude today's episode. We got a lot of done, I'd say. A, a couple of... Oh. We've made some new Hold on a minute. Why? What the... Anyway, point one, being, we did two quests, one hero quest, and as you usually do with a hero quest, you get another hero. And we got to see Grey Unmasked. That in and of itself, oh boy. I don't know. That was like the highlight for me. <laughs> Be that as it may, though, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I think we're all out of heroes to get. So let's head towards the castle. Because that main story, it, it, it sure looks lonely over there. I'll tell you what. See you guys then. Bye.